Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about problem 56 in chapter 2. This is still a free for body. We can see how it works. It tells us uh, an object falling freely from the stationary. So the initial uh, velocity is zero. Because it's free, just uh, fall freely, so the initial velocity pointing down. And then we choose the down as positive direction, so the acceleration just equal to g. So this one shows the distance traveled during each second increased in the ratio of successive, successive old integrals. So now we can see for the free fall body, we know the initial velocity, we know acceleration. And so it's super easy to, for us to find the displacement. The displacement functions with the time t. It is written in this way, and then we input the long quantity's initial velocity zero, so it becomes one half g t square. We can see this is a function. The displacement y with the t g and two are constant. So for t plus one, we can write it as one half g t plus one square, and then we, it tell us show the distance traveled during each second. So the distance traveled during each second is yt plus 1 minus yt, agree? So it's in this way, and then we can just uh, organize this equation. It looks like this one. It's g divided by 2, this is a constant, times the term 2t plus 1. Then we look at the 2t plus 1 in this uh, chart. We can see as t equal to 0, 2t plus 1 is 1. t is 1, 2t plus 1 is 3, so it's 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, da, 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 and so on. So in this one, we can we just prove, right? The distance traveled during each second, during each second, increase in the ratio of successive odd integrals. Thank you.